Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to see how to read or write or even both read and write on a file in Cypress. So it means, you know, you, you could have a file like a JSON file, text file or PDF file or even image, you know, we'll see, you know, how you can read that file. We'll not go through all the example, but we'll see one example. And similarly, you can have a JSON file, text file, how you can write that file. Okay, so let's go to our BS code and have some example. So here is, uh, we are in our BS code and uh, I created one spec file, like read write dot spec JS file. You can see this is my test case file. And here is a description, simple description, my write read test suit. So let's do create a test case. So I would say, so let's example. Uh, so this is my it block. And then let's see, I would say, probably the first we're going to have a write a uh, write a, a text file okay so write function so this is our it block it's to write a text file so write tests and then function right and then okay so this is my it block to write a uh, it's a write test case right write on a file test write on a file test okay and so first what we are going to do we're going to create text file and write on it so create a text file so it's a text format text file and and write okay and then so next so to write you know uh, to create any file it means it's a, like to write on a file you know in Cypress it has its own built-in command it's called write file so to do this side dot you can say write write file so write file it will you know r create a file and then write on it so let's give a name file name say I'll give a name uh, a sample sample file right sample file or test file sample file it's uh it depends on where you are going to if you just give a name like something simple say i would say sample file and then you have to give make sure you have to give it extension so if it's a uh you know a text file since we're doing a example uh, as per text file so you have to give it extension which is txt right uh, so create write file this this method will create a file name is sample text file in your project level in your project like your like my project is you know on a cypress level so if you want to put any other specific place so you have to give the path so if you put in a folder so you have to give it in a part of the folder first and then inside that your file name so right now i'm i'm placing it's on a uh, you know the project level so that's why i didn't have to give that uh, any other part this is a root level or project level file it will create on a project level sample text so here in fact you will give the root directory or path of the file where you want to create and so including name and then so it has a two parameters so one is the path or root directory of the file and then what do you want to type what do you want to write so you want to write say example I want to write here I would say hello world hello world okay and then um, so let's uh, you know what let's run this see this how it works save it and then let's run it so to run it npx cypress so open let's open our test runner So here is our test runner, uh, our uh, spec file name is read write spec, right? Read write, read write spec. So let's run it. Okay, so test is fa uh, you know the pass. So it just you know uh, execute the write file. So let's go to uh, our 
file up there. Minimize this. So let's see that if any file created. If you go to our you know uh, project level, which is Cypress, you can see on the project level here is a sample file .txt file. It's already created. Let's open it. Here is a hello world. So we created. So it's created the file as well as it's right on the file whatever you pass over here. Okay. So let's let's type one more line then see this what happened you know if you want if you need to run you know type multiple lines that which is very simple right so let's do it so again you know we can just copy this guy and then in this time we're going to write something else say I would say uh, this this is my sample file okay this is my sample file right so let's save it and then run it again okay run it again so going to run it again okay it's it's done okay and then so minimize this guy so let's open the sample file Oh, so you see here what really happened it's updated the last line so you can see the first line the hello world got replaced by the the last one the recent one so what's the problem the problem is that you know it's execute this one and then it's execute this line and this line got replaced with this line so if you so what if I want to have both line my previous line so you, you can do append so to do the append, you know, um, you can raise a flag. You can raise a flag in Cypress. There is a flag to do that append. So that means your previous line and your your or your last line, all the line will be stay one after another. So to do this, to raise a flag, let's do the flag. And um, to raise a flag, you will use the keyword flag. Then, you know, a plus. So this will it will ha will work as a pand or this will you can see you can read it over here this will work as a pand or you can say it's it will work as a uh, uh, you know uh, uh, concatenation between two string okay now save it again and run it again so let's run it again okay all done. Okay, I'll run it again. Okay, so both, uh, you know, our write file got executed. That's fine. So let's minimize it. Anyways, uh, let's open our sample file. Now you can see, you know, hello world, uh, you know, and this is my sample file. So both is now you know uh, it's written on this file but it's good to have some space or new lines if you want to do a new line you can just add over here you know and so that's this will add a new line right save it again and run it again you will see this it's going to do this okay now see now you can see hello world this is my sample file so it's created Two different line and all of them line are up there so this is the way you can create a simple file uh, like a text file and you can write up there now let's create uh, now let's see that's how we can uh, read that file okay let's let's read that file to read that file so I will create another it block I will say uh, read read my file read my file read file test so read file test okay and then what's our function function block right and then this is the body of the it block so to read any file what in uh, in cypress we have a, another again similar like write file we have another method it's called read file okay 
so read file let's type it over here what we're we doing we're going to read text file read the text file text file so to do this it's very simple we're going to use sci and the method name is read read file you can see its method name is read file and after that you have to pass the root directory inside this root directory of the path or uh, of the file so root directory is simple text this is the file and then what do you want to do so in this file you can you can pass some assertion that you know so that you can verify some of the content inside the file okay so you can do this and that will be do assertion so before you do the assertion we can confirm first when you're going to do the read file well first we'll confirm is that file exist or not okay we can use a exist assertion as well as we, we can you know verify some of the content inside the the file so to do the exist so which is a part of a session we can say should should and then you can have exist you can say exist so this will verify that you know is there this file is exist or not it will say you know true or false it's like so and then if yes it will pass if it's not it will fail and and then we can do some chaining a session we can add and and then we can say contains contains so what do you want to contain any any word we can verify so say example uh, we can verify just hello so hello is one of the word you know inside this file so we can just verify that word is contains right good so save it and then run it run it again okay it's it looks like you know it's already ran so read file test this is my this is the first one we know that is passed and this is the second one you can see so it's uh, uh, it's found the file you know the uh, sample file dot txt and it did the assertion so it expected it first one it's exist right so it pa it's found that file and also it's found the included war war word we said hello so it's passed both the session right so that's the way you can do a chaining assertion also verify and also read use the read file method to read any file and and also verify that is there, is that exist or not and then do some chaining or some contains verification right that's the read file that's a way you can read a write and read file so now let's see a uh, little bit more depth example so now so you know when you do the read file it means mostly you know we read the data from external file this is the external file right we create it first and then we re read the data so so you know mostly when you read any data from an external file it's uh, Cypress is recommended I mean if you don't create the file if you just read any file Cypress is recommended you create uh, any file or if you need to load any data from an external file it's better to create inside a fixture so fixture is the inbuilt uh, you know the folder or feature you can see where it's a Cypress can directly read if there is any file inside there so here is our we'll see also you know uh, we'll create one file inside the fixture folder and we'll see how we can uh, even write the file inside the fixture folder as well as you can read the file from there uh, so here is a fixture folder and here we have a one file it's called it's an example.json which is empty file so let's see how we can you know first read on this file and then retrieve the data from this uh, fixture file because it's a, you know it's a fixture is very handy uh, to read some external data if you need to uh, use again and again some say login information something like that right so now our next uh, test would be well I'm going to you know I'm not going to create any other different uh, test cases just inside the same it block because it's also it's about the writing on a file so we're going to say here let's uh, the, the tax is like create JSON file so this time we're going to create a JSON file so this is a JSON file example or JSON file right so you can either create it or you can remove it but it's up to you so I just created you know uh, but that's fine 
uh, so the first example are based on text file and now this is a JSON file okay so create JSON file um, in fixture in fixture folder or right, in fixture and write so this is our tax we're going to do so in this time same thing we're going to do side dot you know we'll say uh, a write write file right and now what is the path of your you have to pass that path directory of your JSON file which is a uh, you know example uh, example or JSON right so what is the path so if you just right click and then in, and copy related path and then let's see I'm just copying from there so copy it there and then pass the path over here right so Cypress so I just you know copied the path the path of this example.json file and then let's minimize it. Uh, okay uh, example.json file and then I pass up you know path directory okay this is the path and now I'm going to provide you know over here some profile information say name email password something like that okay so how I can so we have seen how to write single line now we're going to write multiple lines at a time okay so in that case what we can do uh, uh, to write it we can so this is our first parameter the the path directory of the file and now we're going to write on it so to write on it this is the body to write so here we're going to write say what would be we're going to pass some key and value okay key and value some parameters so first key is name so say name is the, I would, I'm going to say Jane okay and then let's put some more uh, email it's uh, I'm going to say uh, the values could be say Jane example right example.com and then the next probably I will give you some password 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 and the, the value would be say one two three four five six okay it's some random value okay so this is the you know this is the the sum parameter I'm going to or some key and value I'm going to pass or write in example dot JSON file okay so let's save it let's put some space here let's save it and now let's run it if I run it I already it should run already because I keep it open ha huh. it's saying okay so it's got some error it's saying write file okay no such file or directory open Cypress so it didn't find the file okay failed while trying to write on a file okay so it didn't find the file so let's see uh, the oh it says Cyp Cy C Cypress okay let me see the path again because it didn't find the path you know file of it didn't find the file okay okay so here is the path directory oh I see so in JavaScript if you wanna use backslash for your path directory you have to use double uh, you know double backslash whether you are going to if you use the double you know the backslash you have to use double uh, you know the backslash but you know whether you can use backslash or forward slash if you use forward slash something like that you can use then that time it, it will work just with this one single forward slash for your path directory but if you use the backslash that time you have to use you know two backslash right so this is the this is the way you know you have to pass the root directory so save it now let's run it it should run now oh now it's good you can see right on a file so it's it's right on that file so let's go and let's open our example.json file here we go you see you can see this three parameter name email password okay all this been updated so now if I want to read that file this file similarly like you know 
the, the we we read the text file how we can read it so we're going to read over here underneath this this uh, test cases the this it block okay so first of all we're going to read so so read uh, JSON file from from where from a uh, fixture fixture so since the JSON file is inside the fixture folder of over here this example of JSON file so you know it is a built-in features comes with uh, Cypress so that time you know uh, you can you can to read that file first you have to load that file you know so to load it you you can use fixture it is since it's a built-in feature so it has Cypress it has a built-in function or method uh, based on fixture to load any file from the fixture so that you can read it okay or you can you can get the data from inside that fixture file so to load the fixture file first first we have to load the file so we're going to first load load fixture file fixture file so to do this we have there is a method called side dot fixture side dot fixture you can see side dot fixture and inside that you got you are you have to pass just the file name you don't have to pass the whole path because this method can automatically scan this fixture folder and it can find the file uh, fi any file by the just name so what's the name so a uh, name is example example right and then this is the uh, difference so when you, you read file directly you have to pass the file root directory with even even extension but when you use read uh, you want to read any file uh, from fixture you can just call the fixture method and then inside the inside the fixture method you can pass the just file name you don't have to even pass this uh, you know uh, the the extension of the file so because it has a built-in features and built-in method it can automatically scan right away this directly fixture uh, folder and it can find the it can uh, you know check the the file name by the file name okay so we, we this will load the file then what do you want to do we want to read the data inside the contain okay to do this we can uh, pass a we can pass a uh, variable say this is a profile info right or user info whatever it is you give so I said okay pass a function and then okay here so this will load the file and then you know since uh, and then we we have to we're going to work on the contain inside so get the contain so you know we have to pass a variable over here so this variable have the knowledge about this file now this file okay so it means it has the knowledge about all the content inside now we can use so this works as a like a variable so we can use now like object reference you can see this is a, works as an object reference so it means it has the knowledge of all the contents inside this example file so now we can do some uh, you know uh, assertion so to do the assertion we can say expect we can use expect and then we can say expect and we use the object reference which is the profile we give it profile and then dot you know now it it has since it has that it it works like object reference it has all the information about the uh, this inside this example file it means all the parameters so it has a parameter we know name email password right all the key so let's uh, use say we can verify name if you if you want to uh, verify the name so let's verify the name and then name what should be to equal we can we're going to verify the name is equal eq equal and then what should be it should be equals to Jane right so we said over here it should be exactly the same so that it will do some assertion so it means it will able to if it's fine that Jane equals to it find this Jane inside this file so it means you know it was able to read that file and extract the data from there right let's see save it and run it as uh, we still open again it's saying uh, 
it's your fixture then okay it's saying fixture okay here the example is not defined why is not defined is saying let me see oh sorry I did a mistake over here so I forgot to put the colon so you know okay single quotation this should be good now this should be good now let's save the file run it again here we go okay you can see for the read file so it's uh, okay for over here expected a gen to equal gen so it's found the gen inside that file so that's the way you can read any file any content inside the your uh, picture file okay so this is so this is the second example we use JSON file so we create a JSON file enters put some uh, data some parameter and we also retrieve the data using uh, the J fixture f uh, you know the method and then we did some assertion okay so now you know the the, the real life example would be much more uh, benefited using the picture file say we have here we have in this uh, ex, uh, JSON file uh, like name email password so this is the r is some sort of uh, real case right when you have a uh, you know uh, like a, a login information you can pass the login information in JSON file and then you can read the uh, information all this key value you know whenever you need you know it, it, whether a single time or multiple time right so let's see that how we can retrieve the data and we can pass those data from this JSON file to some real application. Let's do uh, another, I would say, another, uh, you know, test case. So I will create another test case, another it block, and then I would say this is a login test. Login test. Okay, login test. Function create a numerous function and then this is my body and so wh what would be the, our application? Let me show you the application. Our application would be the Salesforce. Okay, so Salesforce. This is our testing application where we are going to enter a username and password. We're not going to click on login because we have. Uh, you know this username and password is invalid we just want to see this how we can enter get the retrieve the data from the JSON file and pass to your any field on your real application so enter username and password over here you know in this application so this is our URL so let's go to there so first we're going to say site.visit site.visit and then pass the URL good and after that we're going to so here we have to uh, you know and before we enter so you have to enter over here username and password so username and password is coming from our JSON file which is inside the f you know the f uh, our uh, you know the picture folder from this this JSON file so you know to retrieve the data from the picture any file inside the picture folder we know this we have to use this we can easily use this right uh, so let's use this the same line okay and then here we have to uh, make sure you have the all the closing bracket oh sorry okay so this is the body and here uh, we, we are going to you know first we're, we're going to locate the place you know the the input field and then we're going to uh, you know uh, put the data put the username and password from this file so because this line this line this is loading already this will load this you know JSON file and this profile is object reference was has the knowledge all the information it means all the this key and value from this example file so same way we can pass you know this uh, uh, you know the profile we can use profile dot uh, like email like profile dot name profile dot password something that way same way we can pass but before we pass the data where we're going to pass the data to the input field so we have to locate the input field so what is the input field location so I have to spy it 
so to do this so you can see for username uh, they have a ID username right so let's use the ID username so to so we can easily since it's ID so we can say sci dot get right sci dot get and then we can say uh, sorry I didn't copy it uh, where is the ID username just copy this exactly the same way and then paste it here right and then and then uh, side and then what do you need to do so you have to type it right you have to we have to type that so we have to type that the username right so to type it instead of in a hard code usually if we need to hard code you have to type over here like um, you know whatever the value so you usually type something you your username right username so instead of hard code we can just you know pass we can just pass this profile this is object reference since it has all the knowledge uh, all the key value inside so you can see if you pass the profile dot you can see name everything up there right so let's pass the email one where is the email you can see email so this will get the value this email right this will and this will so it will have this email address and it will type where in this location right so same way we can do that password one so for the password just let's update the password let's see for the password what's the locator for the password I can see for the password also there is an ID okay so like over here just change it and it is also ID and the type profile dot you know so what's the password key over here is password two, right dot password you can pass that one okay so I'm not going to use the click on login because it's this username email and password is uh, invalid so anyways it's not going to work so we just wanna uh, to keep it short our tutorial I'm just wanna show that okay let's save it now run it it should run oh run it again I would say so here we go it was so first you can see let's see you can see let's run it again so our first test we saw the first and the second test is passed it was the login test you can see you know it's loaded up there and it goes to the the Salesforce side and then it get the username uh, and then you know it's uh, type it you can see on the right side and also it's type the password you know get the password field and then enter the password you can see so finally here is the username and password okay so this is the way you can uh, you can retrieve the data from your uh, JSON file or from your you know uh, fixtures file and then you can pass to your you know uh, you log in test cases or anywhere you know wherever you need to retrieve uh, some data some testing data you know either it's a single test cases either it's a single test cases or you can even use this one is multiple times is multiple test cases right that time maybe you can use before it's a hook right so that's the, it's it depends on how you know how how many times you need to use or or when you need to use but this is that the process okay and if you need to use multiple times that time I would prefer use some sort of our before test hook right or before each test hook that will help you to use the same data you know retrieve the data and apply this kind of data you know in the different test cases and multiple times so this that's all for you know read data read file and write file and use case of you know read file method write uh, write file method also even uh, the reading data from picture file you know so it is very handy and very helpful and make it uh, easy your test cases so that's all for today stay tuned if you like the beat, uh, this tutorial please share like with the others and uh, subscribe to our channel and have a good one see you next time